Pete Buttigieg, the two-term mayor of South Bend, Indiana, leaning into his millennial roots late this afternoon at Northeastern University. The 37-year-old is the youngest candidate in the crowded field of 2020 Democratic hopefuls, and he's hoping his age will give him an edge. I don't think young people will simply vote for the candidate who is nearest to them in age, at least not automatically. Uh, if I want to earn their vote, uh, I'm, I'm going to have to do just that, earn it. A Pew Research Center report shows millennials will make up roughly a quarter of eligible voters in 2020. Generation Z, those born after 1996, will make up another 10 percent. And if the midterms are any indication, they are energized. According to Tufts University, 31 percent of eligible voters under 30 turned out to vote during the midterms. Tufts estimates that was the highest turnout level in the past quarter century. Now there's this kind of resolve that if we vote, maybe we can find people that represent our interests and actually care about our views. The potential impact of the youth vote not lost on the field of 2020 candidates, all of whom are efforting to engage younger voters by highlighting issues such as climate change and higher education costs. So which candidates are getting their attention here in Boston? Elizabeth Warren at the top, probably then Mayor Pete, and I think Beto. I think Beto's got a really interesting energy. I okay, Alex, give me your three. Uh, probably Warren, um, Mayor Pete, and Bernie Sanders. Bernie Sanders won younger voters during the 2016 primaries, including some of these college students who say they supported him then, but not all of them do now. What happened this go-around? What happened, I think that, I still like Bernie Sanders, but I think that there's not a lot that he has to offer that's new compared to other people in the field. I just want a candidate who looks like me. Polling indicates Sanders, who is 77 and the oldest in the group, is still popular among younger voters. And while he has not announced, so too is former Vice President Joe Biden, who is 76. Biden, I think there is a role for someone with his level of experience and uh, young people see, uh, seeking someone who is comfortable from the, in the position from day one. And this note of caution from researchers about their findings regarding who young people prefer. The Democratic field is large and it is early in the political season. If this were an academic year, it's the beginning of the semester. They're just handing out the syllabus.